guys, on today's video, I wanted to share with you how I make my queso ranchero or queso, queso fresco, you know, fresh cheese, how it's made. So basically, I'm using three ingredients. I am using, of course, a gallon of whole milk, vinegar, and I'm going to flavor it with some salt. I myself am going to choose to strain the curds and the whey, separate it with cheesecloth. You can use your method. I have two options of what I'm going to be using to mold the cheese into its shape. I'm either going to do one of these baskets I get from the dollar store or from the dollar store as well, this type of basket, which may end up being what I use. This is the stainless steel bowl that I'm going to put all the way. That's going to go right through after I get the cheesecloth and the curds put together. And of course, I'm using my stainless um, pot that I'm going to be using to uh, make this cheese. So let me go ahead and get started and show you how that looks. So I just want to mention, I set this for 30 minutes and I was actually going to be done with the mixing of my uh, milk. And I was like, okay, I think I'm done. And guess what? It's ready to stop. So it only takes 30 minutes to heat up the milk. So during this time I have been mixing, I have not left the stove, but I am now at the point where I'm going to go ahead and put a tiny bit of the apple cider vinegar a little bit at a time. And as I am pouring just a tiny bit in here, it's actually still on a medium set. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. I'm actually going to take this right off the stove and then mix it. And then I'm going to put it back on and mix it for just maybe a whole minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour some more of the apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna do this process right. for it. So I went ahead and I poured apple cider vinegar in here. And starting to curd. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the stove. So as I'm mixing with that little bit of vinegar I poured in, it's curding up already. I just don't want it to stick. It's no longer over the part of the burner that's on, so it's kind of resting from that heat. After a minute of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put it back over the heat and I'm going to pour a little bit more of the apple cider vinegar and then I'll have two more times of doing that. So it's looking really nice. So I've done the third and I'm going to do one more. And you're starting to see the cheese come. It's looking a lot like cottage cheese. So I took it off the stove while the burner's still on, still on, poured the vinegar and then I took it off. So I'm mixing this for about a minute. Then I want to keep this temperature consistent, so then I will do it one more time, put it back on the stove, and then I'm going to do this. The reason why we do the stove thing is to kind of keep the heat going. Um, we don't want it to get too cool down and hot, because then we'll, the curds will be kind of different and difficult. Yeah, it's building quite a bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the last bit of this vinegar in here. That was three-fourths cup. This is going to separate into a nice, clear way. So it's the stove is on. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off now. It was on me. Ooh, I smell that cheese. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then I'm going to let this sit. So I'll let you, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like next. So I have my cheese cloth set up. I have a bowl on the bottom. I have a cup to kind of keep the whey and water separated. Um, whey and water. The whey and the curds separated. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. But before we do that, I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes just the way it is. I wanted to do the maximum amount of separation. And that way I can go ahead and scoop it. If you have one of these... Um, ladles that are made of metal go ahead and do that i have plastic but i'm gonna go ahead and, it's washed very well i'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the um, strainer here with a cheesecloth and i'm gonna go ahead and separate the two and then um i think that's it so i think that was all the things i want to tell you guys for now so i'll show you what it looks like as i'm scooping it together all right so it's time to go ahead and ladle this in i won't show all of it so i'm just going to show you oops a little bit of it because it is just kind of repetitive and boring, but you'll get an idea. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to look at my camera while doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will show you what it looks like when it's all empty out of here. And this is like, oh my goodness. Cool. So I got rid of everything out of here, and it's very cottage cheesy crumbly. I guess it depends on the type of milk you use. 
They say not to use ultra pasteurized milk. It's best just to use your regular vitamin D milk that you would buy a whole gallon of it. And so um, this little colander is really full. But as you can see, it's very wiggly, which means there's a lot of water in there and it's all falling to the bottom here. So I gotta be careful. I'm gonna actually take this whole thing and put it back over the pot if it fits properly on this. If not, I'm gonna use something else. Or I'm gonna take some of the water out of here. I think I'm gonna do that instead and pour it in the pot. So I'm gonna let this relax and then I'm gonna come back a half hour later and then I'm gonna go ahead and compress it, close in the cheesecloth and put five pounds over it so it'll mold to the design of this right here. And then we're gonna have queso fresco to um, eat the same day you make this. Just let it sit in the refrigerator for three hours so it'll firm up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final part. Maybe I'll do a few more clips. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. So I'll show you that. Yummy, 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 yummy. So this is how the cheese looks. Um, I ended up putting a plate on there, five pounds of weight, and it's nice and cold to have in the refrigerator. It's been in there for about five hours. I decided to do this around midnight now, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like plated so you can see the firmness of the queso ranchero or queso fresco. So that is what I strained the cheese, and this is how it looks and it still has a cheesecloth on there. So I don't know if I can do this with one hand without breaking, no, I'm gonna break the cheese on accident. Let me turn it back around and unwrap it. All right, so let's see how much of this I can unwrap without destroying. I smell that cheese smell. It smells very fresh. Go ahead and turn this back around so I can put it in the plate. So that is the cheesecloth I peeled off with this beautiful queso fresco. It is nice and firm. This is how it came out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. You can put um, olive oil on this and some herbs. You can also add some salt and you'll be able to get a nice flavored cheese. Look at that beautiful queso fresco. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed this. Go ahead and make it. Leave a comment below if you've made it. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, I guess I should try it. Mm-hmm. Fresh cheese, all I gotta do is add some salt. Mm-hmm. Very good.